The world is so beautiful and crazy, right? You might have experienced seasons like summer, winter, autumn, rainy season, etc. And there are more which threatens us, such as earthquake, volcanoes, lightning, thunderstorm, etc. But all of these occurs naturally. We don't control them, do we? No. These all are natural processes, also called as natural phenomena. Here, let's talk about lightning. During heavy rainy days, you might have seen lights in the dark sky. Those lights are called lightning. It's a natural phenomenon. In ancient times, people thought that it was a wrath of God. Sounds crazy, right? And you know, it took 2000 years to change that belief. Benjamin Franklin had changed all that. He proved it through his kite experiment and he proved that it is not because of any wrath of God, it is because of a huge electric spark in the sky. In his experiment, Benjamin took a kite and tied an iron key at the end of the string. Then during a storm, he flew up his kite way up high. Don't try this, it is dangerous. So while flying his kite, there was a lightning and he felt a small electric shock. As he was a scientist, he thought, let me give one more try. Let me see if it is getting repeated or not. Again, he felt the same electric shock. This got him thinking. He knew shocks are because of electric sparks. So the lightning in the sky is because of a huge or a large electric spark in the atmosphere. Have you seen electric sparks? Where? Let me guess at home while ch plugging a charger in a loose socket. If it is still loose, ask your parents to fix it fast because this sparks causes fire. Similarly, if you have used a gas lighter, you have seen the same electric spark. This electric spark sets the flame in your gas tower. So now we know this huge or large electric spark in the atmosphere causes lightning. Can you find some more examples where you can observe or where you can see electric sparks?